Brainerd City leaders set their expectations high for today's State of the City meeting at the City Council Chambers. Leaders unveiled upcoming projects to help local businesses grow and discussed a variety of financial issues facing the city. Our Hannah Tran has more on today's meeting. A city's operation gets its two largest sources of revenue from property taxes and state aid. Also, local government aid has increased. The city has been certified $382,579 uh, more in LGA than in 2013. The city will use that money to cover increases in expenditures and the loss in utility revenue from the Wausau paper mill closing. We need to get a signed purchase agreement in place. Hopefully that will happen here soon and uh, that we'll have 90 days to uh, you know, further investigate uh, various aspects of the operation. Today, city leaders also focus on expanding recreational and cultural opportunities. The objective is to improve pride of ownership and livability in the neighborhoods. But beyond neighborhoods are businesses. Local leaders also want to take businesses to the next level. Starting next year in January or February, businesses may be able to rent a board of directors to guide companies with potential growth opportunities. How can we create some momentum to really grow this industry sector in our marketplace? Brainerd State of the City meeting outlined high expectations for a city struggling to catch up with other neighboring communities in their tax base. However, optimism remains steady. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. A large chunk of the meeting also tapped into future plans to work on a negotiation with the Wausau paper mill. There's also speculation about an upcoming river walk development project off of the Mississippi River. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.